Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're talking about a particular question that came up on stream, which is um, I'm running these two commands in Python. They do the same thing. Why is one of them slower? Um, and so we're going to be comparing dash M and dash C today and explaining why one of them happens to be ever so slightly slower. Um, I actually think the, the speed difference here doesn't really matter, but it is an interesting question and I'll show you how I kind of figure it out. Uh, now the two uh, commands that we're comparing today come from the site module. And um, the first one, which is python3 dash m site dash dash user base, this just prints out a directory. The actual side effect of this module isn't all that important, um, but you know it's implemented by calling the get user site or something like that. I don't know, I have a command over here. Get user base, uh, this is how this is implemented. It's the same, essentially the same thing. Um, and if we look at the two, you know, they, they print the same results, so they should be executing about the same code. And if we uh, time each of these, so I'm gonna do a little bit of an unscientific timing here. Uh, this one takes about 20 milliseconds, and if we run this one, it takes about you know 12 or 13 milliseconds. So it's it's very close, like that eight milliseconds probably doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but it's different, and so that was where the question came from. And uh, the answer to this, or at least how I figured out the answer to this, is by turning on the import time flag of python and so you can do dash x uh, import time i actually showed a cool thing with import time uh in a previous video about profiling which i will link that in the description if i remember uh, but if we turn on x import time here um i actually find that this is not super readable so i actually have a, a different script that i use for this but i can kind of show you how to read this so um, during interpreter startup, it imports the site module. So this is actually all interpreter startup here. Uh, whereas these are the modules that are needed to run the minimal interpreter, uh, or actually I think it's these modules. And then these are, yeah, yeah. These are the top levels. Yeah. So these are the modules that you need always, anytime you start, um, CPython and those those will always be imported so if you ever do dash x import time these ones at the top are kind of useless and you can kind of ignore them um, and then the site module which is what we're importing uh, i mean we import site here but site is already automatically imported um, you can see if we do dash c empty string so we don't actually run anything here you'll see site is still imported uh, we can actually do dash capital s to eliminate site you can see those are those are the modules that are all, always imported Anyway, so this this uh, you know doesn't do anything, doesn't import any extra modules beyond the ones that are already automatically imported. Now, if we go over here, we'll actually see a little bit of a different result. Import time. You'll see that we get a bunch of different other modules that are imported. Actually, more huh, more than I expected, more than I remember from last time. So you'll notice, like up until this point, everything is the same. Uh, these are these are the same set of modules on both sides over here. Uh, but then we have all these other modules that get imported. And these are, uh, well, these come from the RunPy module. And the RunPy module is what implements dash M. And so it has, apparently it needs to import some other stuff in order to make this happen, including, you know, import libutil, context lib, collections, uh, import machine, or a bunch of other things that it needs, it needs in order to run the RunPy um, behavior. Whereas with dash C, we're kind of bypassing the normal module execution pathway. Um, and that's what accounts for the difference here. The If you add up all these times, I'm not going to bother, um, but it's it's right around that seven to eight milliseconds, uh, which we were seeing bet uh, as a difference between the two. Um, and that's kind of how I went about explaining the difference here. Now, in reality, I wouldn't worry about this difference. So like, don't go rewriting all your scripts to use dash C because you'll just, it'll be a real pain and you probably won't want to maintain <laughs> <laughs> these really obnoxious gross command lines um but yeah i guess the conclusion is like it's seven milliseconds it's not a big deal i wouldn't worry about it um uh, but anyway hopefully this is interesting if there are additional things you want me to explain leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms but thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one